Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to convert MIDI sustain information created with a pedal like this to note duration, making it easier to edit it later. So our project set up here, and I want to add a piano part to it. I'm just going to put down some quick whole notes on this track. And to sustain my notes, I'm going to use a sustain or foot pedal like this. I promised you long ago to so as you can see, the notes are up here and down over here, we can see the continuous control or information for my sustain pedal or my foot pedal. We could double click to open up the MIDI editor and it looks like this with the notes up here and the sustain continuous control or information down here. And you'll notice the notes look pretty short because they're extended with this continuous controller information for our sustain pedal. Let's hear it back. Now you begin again. Breaking up shouldn't be this hard. I just wanted a friend. So you can keep your heart, keep your heart. So to make this easier to edit, I want to convert the sustain pedal information to note length. So the note lengths will equal how long I held down that pedal. And we could do this with a script that was created by a Reaper user. So if we search in our browser for Reaper Stash, it'll take us to this website. And then we'll search in the uploads for sustain. And right over here is a script written by MPL. Again, a Reaper user that created this script. Let's click on it. And then we'll download it right here. Now, if we go back to Reaper, we can open up our actions by hitting the question mark and make sure the section we're in is the MIDI editor. Then we'll go to New Action, Load Rear Script, and it takes us to a hard drive. In my situation, my downloads folder, and here's the file we downloaded called MPL Convert Continuous Controller 64 Sustain to note off information. And then it removes that controller information. We'll double click this and it adds it to the actions window right here. Now we can just double click it and it converted all that information. No longer do we see continuous controller sustain information down here. And the notes are all extended based on the length or how long I held down the pedal. Before it looked like this with shorter notes extended with that continuous controller information. And after, we just have the longer notes and no continuous controller information. Now there's one problem with this script. If you play two notes right next to each other like this, they might overlap. As we can see, if I move this one, this one is a bit too long. And because they're playing the same note, this one is gonna cut off this one. So what we should do, is run another action. Search in the filter for overlap, and there's an action right here to correct overlapping notes. Double click this. Now, if I move this one, we can see the length has been shortened by this one. So it's not gonna cut off the next note if this note hangs on too long. That only matters when it's the same note. So what we can do is save this as a custom action. So to perform, both actions at the same time. So I'm going to choose this one, go to new action, new custom action. It adds it over here, then search in the filter for overlap and choose correct overlapping notes and put it after this one. So this custom action is going to perform both actions at the same time. We'll give it a name and save it. And it shows up right here. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. So you could do both actions with one keyboard shortcut. But this MIDI is already fixed. 
So tear it back. Now you're begging again. Breaking up shouldn't be this hard. I just wanted a friend. So you can keep your heart, keep your heart. Sounds pretty good. But now, if we want to quantize our notes, it's a lot easier to do when they're just notes. Without having to fix or edit the continuous controller information for the sustain pedal. So we'll go up here to quantize, use grid, all notes, and position and note end. But this is going to quantize it perfectly at 100%. So it should be perfect. Now you begin again. And while it does sound perfect, I prefer to make it a bit looser and more human. So instead, I'm only going to quantize it to 50%. So it just moves the notes half as far towards the grid. So it'll still keep some of my feel like this. Let's hear it with the vocal. Now you're begging again. Breaking up shouldn't be this hard. I just wanted a friend. So you can keep your heart, keep your heart. Sounds pretty good. And again, it's a lot easier to edit now that we converted the continuous controller information for our sustain pedal into note length. But let's do it with a more complex piano part. Let's delete this and let's solo it and just play freehand, but using more than just whole notes. Again, we could double click it to see the MIDI notes in a MIDI editor. Let's hear it back. Again, it's not perfect, but let's use that custom action we created right over here. And we can do it from here or use my keyboard shortcut. Hit that key. And now it extended all these notes based on the sustain pedal we played. And it removed that continuous controller information for our sustain pedal over here. So we just have our note lengths. And again, it removed any overlapping notes. So it should sound exactly the same. And we could extend these notes manually right here, a lot easier than doing it with continuous controller information or sustain pedal. This note's a bit too long. And again, it's a lot easier to edit on MIDI when we don't have to do it in two different places. It's a lot easier to quantize or readjust the timing or the length of our notes when it's all based on note length, not using the sustain pedal or the continuous controller information that controls that function. So that's pretty much it. That's MIDI sustain to note duration in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.